three, one. Time to begin. Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal. As you can see, I couldn't buy the extra gear itself, so I was forced to get the Mega, the mega Collection thing for the PS3. So there's the first Ratchet and Clank and Going Commando. So as a result of this, since I therefore don't have any save data for the first two games, I guess my weapons won't carry over to this one. I'm not sure if it does that, because it's a blind let's play, of course. Either way, I don't really, I guess it doesn't really matter because as far as like going commando is concerned, the carried over weapons were utterly useless. You couldn't upgrade them unless you probably did that in the last game. And yeah, as you saw like the visit bomb for example, it was totally useless. Only because like the attack power didn't increase, but the enemy's HP obviously did. And the old weapons proved nothing to them. So yeah, carried over weapons, not the most helpful. Unless it was perhaps the Rhino or something. I'd like to see the Rhino carried over. It would be insignificant compared to the Rhino 2, probably. But this game likely has a Rhino 3, because it's a little structure down a Rhino 4. Alright, enough of that. Let's begin the game. So I guess like the games that come between this one and Tools of Destruction. I guess they didn't serve much purpose because there's no Rhino in them. I only assume that because Tools of Destruction had the Rhino 4, and this game would have the Rhino 3. So, there's my logic. <laughs> Let's begin! My Plargian Snagglebeast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. So they live in a new place! Uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargian Snagglebeast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it's enemies. Again. It was like enemies from the. Maktar Casino! Oh, Maktar. Uh, I forgot what Maktar Haha! <laughs> Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But. Do you lose as gracefully as you win? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! Looks like some movie parody. I guess Clank is James Bond or something. You missed! So Famous secret agent. Shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves, and mind the agenda seat this time. Ha! <laughs> Stay tuned for more secret agent Clank. What well, Clank do that so great? That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. He don't like it. I don't think he likes we it. We continue our live coverage from it's her again. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious oh! is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid it's attack. Nefarious. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. Now you're dead. We're going home. But Felden is in the Solana Galaxy. Well, that's, that's Megapolis, actually. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive? The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. No, you don't. I just hope we're not too late. You really need to check out, like, the enemy going commando. I guess Ratchet and Clank will be in Megapolis now. Now we're headed back to the planet Veldin! Yay, the infamous loading screens. When you're flying through space. Veldin. Not planet Veldin, just call it Veldin. So I guess... 
I wonder about these, uh, the difference between the collection version and the original version of these. Are these, like, enhanced graphics or something? They look kind of the same, but at the same time, they look like total Greetings, destruction. Greetings, Client 91802, and welcome back to the Solana Galaxy. The original type of arsenal is like anyway. Uh huh. Alright, let's see. We don't have any weapons! <laughs> we don't have any weapons! <laughs> you can reverse the camera controls in the options menu. Nice, but I'm satisfied with these. Huh? These must be the Galactic Rangers. Oh, subtitles. Hey, it's a new sergeant. Huh? Hey, sergeant, you can have my gun. Thank you! There's too many of them! We're all gonna die! Press circle to fire your shot blaster. Yeah, yeah, actually, I can't pause the game. Uh, like, look at the map, but I don't want to look at, like... Okay, okay. What am I... S what the hell is subtitles at? Oh, okay. Look kind of confusing. Music volume. I'll turn it up a little bit. Nice weapon! <laughs> of course, he's just level 1 enemies. I still hover! Yeah, the graphics look really different compared to like going Commando and Ratchet and Clank 1, so it kind of makes you think of like updated graphics for the PS3. But I need to know if like the original Up Your Arsenal is like actually. I'm glad to see you, Sergeant. We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess, that somebody is me. We got a volunteer. This side, take this. We'll cover you from back there. Ah! I get another new weapon. Try using the nitro launcher against that vehicle. Whoa! Those guys are total cowards. The worst of the the worst of the soldiers of high rule. They're wimpy. So I see we kept the um, experience point system. To select weapons, hold triangle and select an icon with the left analog stick. Yeah, I played the first game. So yeah, we kept the experience point system. Hold L1 to precisely target your weapon. Don't want to yet. What if, like, so yeah, you gotta, like, check out going commando at this game, see if it's any, you know, easier. I mean, I like a challenging game, but not too challenging, like that. I mean, maybe you'll challenge for the main, right, I mean, the side quest, but not too much for the main game. I mean, really. I heard, I heard like, this game is easier than going commando, so I'm kind of thankful for that. Actually, in uh, several several games, including Crack in Time and um, All for One. So yeah, the Doctor Fairy is finally good to see him. I was waiting for that. Or we just had Chairman Drek and Mr. Fitzwitchet, who I really want to stab to death right now. Maybe later. At any rate. Your maximum nanotech level has increased. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. I guess they have a lot of bolts to buy that Rhino 3, I bet. Like, 2 million probably. But I kind of liked it when you just had to locate hollow plants. That was much easier carrying a load of Chilean bolts. Easy, those 
more fun to do, really. I'm gathering tickets. Oh, okay. Well, he's gone. Yeah, we actually have allies in this in this whole game. So far, it actually seems pretty epic. I mean, our home planet is under is under attack. He's just kind of canceled out there. So it's like Bellin going to be the last level like it was in the first game. It's the first level here. Kind of, well, not very original since it was in the first game, but I'd like to see how that works out. Like any Resident Clank game, I doubt they take much interest in. Come on, blow up. Okay, you're not blown up. Screw you. Just waste an ammo. I don't want to waste my time in the metal box. What's the situation? The noise have fallen back to a base. Ha! We have orders to go in and take him out. Yes, Sector. No, game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap, man. Get back in there, Trooper. We've got a planet to save. Yeah. Yes, sir. Kind of cowards. <laughs> We're called noise. Oh yeah, continue point. Game saving. You better save. You better give me a fucking checkpoint. Whoa! Oh my god, we got diving sections! Oh my god, they're not motion control. We got control with the lousy stick. You think this is like made for PS3? These to be motion controlled, but they aren't. Kind of weird, actually. Because they're too lazy to add in motion controls. They will have those until. Not until tools of destruction. Where the hell am I bombing? Alright. You guys know have it covered. Well, it's so leveling up. Don't shoot me. So I guess, you know what? Their kills actually count toward my experience. So that's actually pretty cool. Not for weapons, but for actual health. That's a level up again. down there. Huh. That's Just pretty neat. Oh, uh, the infamous strafing mechanic. Which I doubt will prove very... That shit right through the damn wall. Very handy when there's a ton of enemies surrounding me. Hi, guys. Sir, we have a transmission from the president. How thanks on the front line, soldier. That's a president? Is, is that secret agent Clank? Ha! Indeed, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor. And I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Captain Quark. Here, take a look. Captain Cork, right? On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, Cork. we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of Nature's Mysteries! I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was butt naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It could be one of nature's mysteries. Ha! Legend tells that this mysterious creature Count Court. is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Yes. 
Tune in and find out the answers. Yep, Captain Cork. We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. So, we actually have to find Kevin Cork and you're in the fight in the fair.